next level. Okay, it's day two of our uh, fishing expedition here at Port St. John's. We're now at Second Beach. That would be that infamous Second Beach. We're still trying to catch carrows. We've got a little bit of working water there, and I'm positive we'll get some carrows here for this afternoon's fishing uh, trip. by any means. But at least we know that the fish are here. Oh, well, it's not the targeting species, but take a fish where you can get it. White catch for the day. <laughs> Baby little Toby. Okay guys, we're here with Rasta. He's been he's a local man. He's been here for I don't know how many years. He's been my ghillie right. maybe for 20 years as Rasta. From that big all the way obviously he's a lot older now. He's a specialist in cob fishing. So if you come down here and you're looking for a good jelly, try and get old, hold of old Rusty here. He's had two throws. I'm going to show you what happened here. If you can see the cob bit there, you can see a pin hole, and there by the tail. Look at that over there. So he's literally had two throws while I've been watching him. There we go, guys. The water's lovely. This is the man you need to see when you come down here. There's a gilly old Rasta. There we go, Rasta. Carry on, my man. Carry on. Definitely. I'll see you again. Yeah, but tomorrow I'll come in. Tomorrow you'll be here? Tomorrow we're going to show you how you catch them on paddle tail. <laughs> Guys, we're at Port St. John's. This is Lighthouse. There's the big lighthouse on the top. We have the two rocks. It's our afternoon session here. Hopefully I'm going to catch a reggae while these other guys are trying to catch cob. Prenel and them are getting ready now to catch cob. A lot of guys are throwing Gary flags, rasters over there. And he had a bite with his multiplying reel. Fishing for the cob there. He had one of those uh, Pro Rexes on. And he had a bite. I saw the teeth marks in it. But you know what guys? No one's fishing for sharks. I'm going to take it upon me to catch a shark. A big one. While they catching cob. Basically, for the reggies, and it hasn't been enough northeastly, but all I'm going to do is a little bit of that. We'll take a cutlet here. just so that the cotton actually gets uh, caught in it. Opening the gill slits a bit here just so I get a little bit more smell coming out. I'm not going to put a dangle on, I'm just throwing the bait. That's all I'm going to basically do. Basically big head. Taking a bead and just going straight through the eye. To make sure I get the eye right. There we go. There we go. Let's get that off. I'm just going to cotton it up now. Just so it stays where I've put it.
Here's my bait, ready to go. I'm just looking around me and I just see nylon everywhere. Guys making fires, leaving their tin cans everywhere. It's really, guys need to clean up after yourselves. I've been coming here for years and this is the worst I've ever seen in the here. Shoulder sardines over there on the right hand side. Can't ask for better conditions. Black sea. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Thank you to the Spotted Grunter for accommodating ASFN and for supporting fishing the way you do. This venue is perfectly situated right next to the river and perfectly set up for every angler's needs. If you're looking for the most memorable and comfortable accommodation when fishing Port St. John's, look no further than the Spotted Grunter. <laughs> 